boy. And remember, these guys are heavyweights as well. And don't the crowds love the heavyweights? Jason Retty. Into the ring, give him another big round of applause. Jason Retty. And Jason's opponent, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner this evening, weighing in at 112 kilograms, 1.93 tall, trained by Anaru Harriman from the Cairo Gym. New Zealand Samoan, ladies and gentlemen, from right here in Auckland, also a Manu Samoa rugby representative. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Malua Tempe. Yes, I've seen him go in the Mano Samoa rugby team and the sevens as well, Malua Tipi. Here he goes as a professional heavyweight. Both of these men, Jason Reddy and Malua Tipi here, have had two fights. They have uh, the same record, one win, one loss. So this is an important one for them. And they'll fight over four three-minute rounds. Going round to the blue corner is Malua Tipi. Both a couple of natural athletes, these two. Uh, Keith Muller, obviously, with his uh, rugby background. A little bit of sort of harking back to, to Monty's transition to the professional ring. Jason Retty, actually, from a kickboxing background. So, uh, both unorthodox, in particular, Retty. Jeff Nelson and Ivan Zovich. All three of the rounds in the heavyweight division. Okay, we go to referee Mike Lambden for this one. Last minute. Instructions for Jason Retti. There's Mike Lambden. Good crowd here. A lot of women here tonight. Okay. Already given your instructions down below. Okay. I want a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. And I'll stay out of your way. Understand? Okay. Touch gloves. Good luck. Bye -bye. Well, a couple of big boys there. Keith, Jason Reddy, six foot two, Marlowe is standing over on top of him. You're right, there's plenty of women here. It's, uh, the boxing sports uh, certainly having appeal for both sexes these days. You have Keith Quinn and Mike Angove at uh, ringside here for Dodge Fight Night. Heavyweight contest between Malua Tipi with the yellow trim on his black trunks and Jason Reddy with the white trim. Well, Jason Retti's uh, probably biggest problem is uh, he keeps his uh, his hands uh, very, very low most often. He's a very powerful puncher and very unorthodox. You'll see him rock back on his heels and come back with a Nazim Hazim kind of punches, if you remember the prints from his professional boxing days. Malo uh, just pouring very tentatively with that jab. His head's popping up as well. Wouldn't be too confident uh, at this stage. If, uh, he la if Richie lands the big overhand right, let's go of it. Not getting full range out of his jab, Malua Tipi. Getting the big right hand over there. And there's just a bit of a, a trip on the canvas there. And it's a bit unorthodox from uh, Ritti. Well, Ritti's going to throw those kind of punches that you don't really expect, and he can throw really hard. He's, he's not a particularly attractive-looking boxer in terms of the way he throws his shots. But uh, he can throw and nicely have took there. And again, coming from an unorthodox angle, coming under the jab, weaving under, coming out with the left hook, really uh, stepping into his left hand as well. Halfway stage here in round one. Uh, Retti is from a, a kickboxing background, Mike. You'd understand that. You'd follow that being a former world kickboxing champion. Yeah, he's, he's, he's come into professional boxing to, to step up his hands game. You're seeing he's actually got not a bad uh, little arsenal of punches there. And <laughs> a wild right hand again. That's his uh, bread and butter punch. But uh, the thing that's going to work, actually, if he just goes, digs downstairs with the right hand, comes up top with the left hook, and then goes with the big shot up high, the, the bolo punch with the right hand. And he sounds like he's, uh, he's listening or listening to his corner. Some good head movement there, too, just uh, getting out of the way of the lead. Left hand from Malua Tupi, although uh, he threw the kitchen sink and I think the mortgage with that one as well. <laughs> he did too. And, and Retti just having a couple of looks, that time he looked at the referee, but a couple of looks at his corner. 
And Mike Ango with me here in the commentary box. Uh, former world kickboxing champion. Unbeaten, though, as a boxing pro. So Mike knows his stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Sparring partner for Shane Cameron and Monty Beaton. Talk about kitchen sink. Mike, you've thrown it all and had it all thrown at you. Mate, I've, hit, I've been hit by most of the best of them. <laughs> but um, we saw Jason Retty just... He's starting to breathe a little bit, my little chippy. Just uh, burying him up against the ropes. Uh, Ritty just finding himself off balance after throwing shots. He just needs to not put quite as much power into his shots. Doubling up with the right hand to the body and the head there, but Marlo Atifi felt that one and coming back. Look, this may not be the most skilled bout uh, out there, but uh, it's becoming quite enthralling. They're fairly evenly matched. And there's the end of round one. Malua Tipi and Jason Retti here at the Sky City Convention Centre. Dodge fight night. Well, we've got Jason Santi, a six-time world kickboxing champion in his corner. And we also saw him a couple of years back fighting Lawrence Tuasa to a draw in professional boxing. So he's got uh, boxing credentials in his own right. Then Malua Tipi. We saw that wild right hand from Jason Retti. Malua just uh, sticking with bread and butter. 1-1-2. One, one, Tying up in the corner. Very, very messy fight, this. And uh, Retti with that uh, boomerang right hand, we'll call it. Right hand off the jab. Loosen up. Loosen up. Loosen up. Get up at the right hand. Let it go, okay? Well, good instructions there in the corner. He does need to loosen up. He's just a little bit tense, and that's uh, stopping his speed, robbing him of power as we head into the second round. Second round of four heavyweights. Retti in the black and white trunks, beginning very aggressively with the red clubs. Oh, One of these guys happening. is going to go. They keep on firing it like this. Ritty's obviously been told by his corner to put the pressure on, but what's impressing me about Malua Tippi is the way he's actually fought back when he's been hurt. He hasn't been rocked yet by any shots, and uh, it's actually when he's stung that he starts to fire up a little bit more. Both fighters have got an unfortunate habit of popping their chins up. They don't want to catch a big shot. Oh, and there's a right hand that just missed, shaving the whiskers. But Tippi coming back. Nice straight right hand. He's starting to get his leverage happening. It's almost like that when he gets caught with one, he comes forward on the counter, not even a counter punch, a counter attack, a counter charge. Well, the thing with Jason Retti is he's throwing the big shots, but he's finding himself off balance directly afterwards. So uh, if uh, Malua just uh, keeps his gloves high, well, that's a nice right hand off the button there. Jason Retti back up for the first time really in this fight. And again, Malua going upstairs with the uppercut. Good option. Just out of off balance there at this point. <laughs> These fighters throwing hammer and tongs. Ritty relaxing in the clinch. Malua keeping his composure. Ritty just needs to spin him a little in the corner. We should warn him about not dropping his head. So a minute and a half to go in the second round of four heavyweights and don't the crowd love the big men when they start throwing all the weather jason ready running out of steam he's uh hit him with a couple of good shots and hasn't phased him he's just starting to drop his head he's going to be there for an overhand right possibly a left uppercut from tippy if he can try it punch it out punch uh, tippy's still a little bit inexperienced still very green perhaps not spotting the gap as he should and we can hear his corner there screaming at his ears. The jab to set up the right hand. He's done that, taking this round by a landslide. The referee taking a close look, but nothing much landing there at this point. He's taking the wrong option. He's twice and really coming out the stairs with that ball. you would see well his corner was shouting at him box out box out and he did just that but he certainly rocked Malo Atipi after looking in serious trouble. 
So now we're looking at the corner of Malua Tipi. He's almost guys. He was looking much more composed and uh, better squared up and set in the first round in the early stage of the second, but suddenly the flurry of uh, punching out of his own corner by Jason Reddy turned it round. Well, this is a heavyweight game, and uh, you know, these guys are big men, they're both 100k plus. If you get landed, they can punch Jason Reddy. He's a wild kind of fighter, you just don't know what to expect from him. Malua back to mark referee probably got involved a little bit early there is that right overhand right that reggie throws the left hook the winging punches if he just needs to keep his hands up by his chin and that will save him a lot of trouble as we hit him for the third round round three of four three minute rounds remember malua tippy with his back to us with his name on the back of his proud samoan boxing trucks Former rugby international from Manu Samo, Reti from Auckland, New Zealand. A little bit tentative again with that jab. He started to put some authority on it in that second round, but he got hit. And it's oh, a nice right hand. Left hook to the head and another right hand. Reti has the ability and the power we've seen to back up. Tippy. And that's, well, he's just exposing himself with that low left hand. Reti doing well, going downstairs with the jab to the body to set up the right hand. That's good work as well, moving counterclockwise, coming back with the left hook, just making his man follow him and then catching him in between steps. Very predictable, Tippy, just walking forward, fairly orthodox kind of style. Ricci uh, using his eyes to get himself out of trouble. Probably not one for the purists. He's can't afford to be too stationary there. He's just standing in front of his man, and that'll give the slower fighter more of a chance to tee off. He needs to be a bit active, keep moving, even moving in circles. And there's a body shot. <laughs> and missing again with the wild left hook. Tippy looking to take advantage, but uh, neither fight or landing. Remember, there's a big advantage in weight for Tipu. He's 112 kgs, and Dorethi was 107.4. So just standing still there again, Jason Ritti. Tippy should be actually trying to counter with uh, a right hand of his own. Just missing there. Ritti kind of slipping, um, half tripping out of the way of the right hand. Slipping on the canvas. We've seen that a couple of times. We come on to the serious pro fights. It's something we need to be aware of. He's just telegraphing there. Richie just needing to uh, show his left hand a little bit rather than going straight downstairs. Otherwise, he will get counted.